So one of the biggest problems that uh, the leaders and managers and the directors and the business owners I work with have is they say, Mike, I'm time poor and I'm putting in so much effort, I can't do any more. Right? If you're watching this and that's you, I feel you, man. I have been there. You're putting in these ridiculous hours, you're trying so hard and you're like, what else can I do? Well, the answer is you don't need to do any more, right? It's looking at what you do. Um, and there's a fantastic phrase I want to share with you now that has changed probably the way I do a lot of things. And it comes from servant leadership. And servant leadership, check it out, Google it, just spend 10 minutes on servant leadership today. The idea that you lead through service. And the person that created it pretty much said this, the areas of greatest leverage, right? So think of it like a lever where you can get more from doing less. The areas of greatest leverage are the least obvious and the most hidden. Now you're probably thinking, what does that actually mean? What it means is there are massive improvements that you can make, but they're not easy to find. And if you go hunting for them, right? And think they are out there, I've just got to find them. When you find them, it's like a piece of gold. And like, yes, I, how can I realize? I didn't even need to do this. I can just ask this person. I can just do it this way. Now I can't tell you what they are because every, everyone has personal to them. But I will tell you this is they are waiting for you to find them. So one of the biggest areas of leverage that I've found the last few years are the relationships I've built with people. I try and have really good relationships with people and genuinely build them up over years. And then suddenly you can leverage those relationships and say, oh, you're brilliant. I need to put you in touch with, touch with this person. They're brilliant as well. You can help each other. And you've leveraged that relationship and you've put two people that really need each other together and it helps them and it was no effort from yourself, all right? So if you're watching this, be encouraged, right? You don't need to work harder. You don't need to do more. Look for leverage. So you might say, how do I do that? Well, look for people, right? Can you leverage? Can you get other people to do things for you? Look at your practices. Look at what you're doing, right? Is there a better way to do that? You know, think about that and just keep it as an open-end question. Say, right, let's go hunting for gold. You know, where are they? You know, where are they? One of the most interesting places that you can leverage is your rest and your health and well-being. You invest in your health and well-being or your rest and recovery, something a little bit different. You get a new mattress, right? Or you get a personal trainer. You start doing one of these things and you're like, suddenly your whole energy can change and things can really improve. So keep that in mind. There's areas of leverage, leverage getting more done with less time. It's a wonderful thing to do. And the areas of best leverage are the least obvious and the most hidden, but they're worth digging for gold and they're worth hunting for. So go hunting, best of luck.